Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today it's finally nice enough to get outside, do a video. There is still some snow on the ground, but spring camping season's right around the corner if you haven't started already. So we're gonna do a nice walk around video of a 19 FPS from Flagstaff. It's the E-Pro, single axle, nice lightweight. Um, really great camper. So like we do here, we'll get you on the outside, we'll get you inside. Leave a comment, let us know what you think, and we'll kind of go from there. So right up front, you'll notice with the flag staffs, you're gonna have a nice fiberglass front cap, really nice and sturdy for um, you know debris or anything coming down there. You got your rock, down, rock guard down below that, um, along with your automotive grade uh, front windshield here that's sealed pretty much just like your windshield on your vehicle. So keep in mind your tow vehicle will be in front of it. So any rocks that kick up will kind of be covered by that. Um, but just think, you know, the rocks are here windshield. So. Some people are a little afraid about that, but that's really kind of beefed up windshield up front there. Flagstaff does give you um, a battery box that would fit two batteries in there. We're gonna include one 27 deep cycle battery um, in the deal. So that'll go in that box, leave you a little extra room for maybe some uh, tools and stuff to throw in there. 20 pound LP tank up front too, with the cover, or two 20 pound LP tanks, excuse me, with the cover to keep those tanks out of the sun. So if you notice your uh, grill at home, those LP tanks kind of start getting all worn and torn and maybe some of the paint flakes off, they get rusty. Having the cover over that's really nice, along with really nice power tongue jack up front. And a couple even little things to go along with it. You know, these small things matter down the road sometimes. You know, you got your chains that hook up, they'll go right here so they're not dragging in the mud along with your power cord. Cool little spot for that after you unhook from your vehicle. Just plug it in there, keep everything up out of the dirt. It's gonna be nice, really nice for you guys. Come around the working side, uh, you do have some docking lights. So at night or anything like that, really nice docking lights right down here for you. Pass through storage on a slam latch baggage door held up by magnets. So coming in here and on the inside, you're gonna notice a couple of really good goodies. Spray hose in here. They also throw you a, a water filter uh, system in here along with extra cables, like I said. So if you wanted to do the two batteries, you got extra cables in here. I mean, they're throwing you a sweet little burger flipper with their forest river, with the bottle opener on the other side, just kind of those small little touches, which are pretty neat. And a nice bag to keep all that stuff in, along with your power cord for when you're not traveling, that's all in there too, so it's pretty cool. Notice the aluminum frame construction in there as well. So having that's gonna be really nice. And then while you're down here, you're about 3,500 pounds dry weight on this rig. So really nice, lightweight rig, towed around with ease. Everybody's been moving to the tankless water heaters. This guy still has the six gallon um, gas electric combo. So, you know, depending on your style of camping, you're gonna have that uh, water heater for you. One slide box on this. Also notice as we go around the frameless windows, those look really nice and sleek for here too. All the seals are on the inside, kind of um, gonna cut down on some of the black streaks and stuff coming down the side of the camper and then also they just kind of crank open a little bit so if you do have any rain or anything it's not going to come in there you can kind of leave these open and still get some of that fresh air during the rainstorms if you wanted to leave those open unless it's really ripping then you might want to shut those coming through some of the snow back here but you also on the back you got a black tank flush to keep down on the smells and debris in that tank there you got an outdoor hot and cold shower. This is where that spray hose will just connect into here on the back side, which is really nice. So if you're spraying stuff off, creating any water on the ground, it's not on your campsite, all on the back side. So you're not gonna be kind of moving around here. So we like that. And then all your elimination drains and all that stuff in one convenient location down here. Four stabilizers, one on each corner. Just crank these down or bring a three quarter inch drill bit and zip those down that way. Coming to the back side, a couple cool things back here. You got a max air fan in your bathroom and they throw the cover on it for you already. So right up top, notice the max air fan cover for you. Also while we're up top, you got a Furion prep for a backup camera, all prepped and ready to go. We sell those here in our parts department. So if that's something you wanna add with the purchase, you can always get a hold of the parts department to see what that looks like for you and get one of those put on the rig. And then 
if you want to bring some bikes or other gear you are equipped to put a little small rack back here and bring some gear with you and that is rated at let's see 300 pounds so really nice weight rating for um, that rack back here so ladder on board already to get you up to the roof check the seals do all that having that ladder on board is going to be really nice for you guys get around the snow come around the campsite a little windy out but we didn't we put the awning out a little bit so you can see it um, covers most of the camper here for you the door is on a friction hinge door swings this way so the awning is not obstructing the door you got solid surface steps with a solid step above steps it's gonna be really sturdy drop to the ground give you that sense of security a nice oversized grab handle to get you in it as well and then this is kind of like your outdoor entertainment space they do have a grill that comes that's in a box so we just left that all boxed up but you have a nice little prep table your grill i'd probably put this on slide this over to this side put the grill here because you do have your lp uh, quick connect right down here so a nice little prep area spot to kind of hang out you got your outdoor speaker out here so blasting your tunes hanging out having a great time under the awning and then this is the other side of that pass-through storage here for you. And like I said, that grill is right in that box, all set for you to go. A little bit of solar on top, and then you do have the prep on the side for a briefcase solar to add a little bit more solar that you can move with the sun and throughout the day and collect as much energy, free energy, as you can. So we'll swing it inside. Right as you walk in, you're gonna have your refrigerator and microwave right in the back, fridge freezer right back here, along with your bathroom. So popping right in, right into the bathroom. You're not tracking through the whole camper. Um, you got a porcelain toilet in this bathroom, which is gonna be really nice. A little smaller corner shower. And again, in these smaller campers, having the dry bath with a toilet, the shower, the sink all separated is gonna be really nice for you. Again, like I said, max air fan that's in the bathroom here. And then they also give you, you know, on these smaller campers, you've got smaller tanks. So they give you the shower miser, which is really gonna maximize your water usage. If you're not familiar with those, small little switch on the side will kind of circulate the water into the fresh tank until it gets warm and not just wasting your water going into the gray tank. It'll circulate it for you. Um, and then when this turns colors, that means the water's hot. Then you can just flip it to the other way and do the hot shower that way. So that'll be really nice for you guys. Small sink to the side, spot to hang a towel, decent little medicine cabinet in here. And then even, you know, a small little storage spot, tuck some goodies down there, toilet paper, what have you. Coming into the kitchen area, stainless steel sink, high rise faucet to get the stuff. It doesn't have the pull down, but you do have the high rise faucet. You can move it out of your way so it's not just in the middle in your way. Um, put your soap caddy, sponges and stuff in here. It has a catch so it doesn't fall all the way open. Really nice deep pull out drawers. And then the sink does have a cover for you right here so a drying rack or even just to extend the counter space and give you more working space there but good pull out drawers in it three burner cooktop with really nice heavy grates on here that aren't going to break down or deteriorate and i mean you know most of these ovens are pretty small but the size of the oven in this rig is a good size oven we can really appreciate that and then a little bit of storage under there as well up top a couple of drawers for more storage and then all these lights are going to be push puck lights so you can really start customizing out your lighting in here you know late at night you want a bunch of lights or if you just need a few on as you go you can really start hitting those and make that work for you nice spot for the couch now this does jackknife kind of like a futon style to fold out into another sleeping area it's right across from the tv it does have a table that would plug in here so having dinner playing games checking it out right across from the tv a really nice spot here cup holders on either side for you as well for your beverages 
and then you do have overhead storage for you as well hidden hinges makes it look really nice and clean ac ac unit up top so on a smaller rig like this make this space nice and cold really fast for you tv got all your goodies netflix youtube where you're going to find us prime disney kind of built in jbl soundbar built into the bottom of it as well and then below that you're going to have some kind of wardrobe storage there's a little hanger topped here so you want to do some hanging clothes maybe a small broom tuck a small garbage can if you're not going to put your clothes in there you can kind of utilize that space whatever suits you best another really nice deep polo drawer for storage right under the bed you're going to have power kind of tucked everywhere so one down here there is one on the other side of the couch where we just were and then you have a really nice full-size queen up front notice that shade that pulls down over that window has a little magnet because you do have a little bit of that rounded front cap to give you a little extra space up there but it has a little magnet that'll hold so that's not flopping around on you while you're sleeping in bed and then the overhead storage with like the fishnet um, bungee cores tuck a bunch of goodies up there maybe little baskets big windows on either side of the bed so really good cross ventilation there as well and then i kind of want you to look notice too a little bit of the rounded ceiling in these guys so in the center of the rigs can give you a little more head space so for you taller guys and taller women that might be hitting your head um, or getting close to these acs in some of these smaller rigs that's going to give you a few extra inches of height to kind of really feel comfortable about moving through here and not hitting your head and give you a lot of extra space and have it feel a lot more roomy in a shorter rig like this um, prepped also for wi-fi so wires and stuff are all popped down here so you know again talking with parts department and things like that to get you the device you can hook that up like i said it's all prepped and ready to save you some time save you some money at the end of the day if those are options that you wanted to add on to your rig so um yeah great little small unit like this like i said 3500 pounds really easy to tow with some of the suvs you know if you had the half ton truck just something that's not gonna you know feel like anything back there get you into a lot of campsites if you got limitations in where you're storing it or places that you want to go something small like this still feels big enough yet small enough to tow around so we really like this rig again my name is kyle dimmon i'm here at bullion rv um YouTube really likes when you hit the like button, you leave us a comment, um, subscribe to our channel, all helps us out, it helps you out, really gets the videos out to you guys too as fast as we make them. So if you guys really like our channel, we appreciate a thumbs up, we appreciate you watching. Uh, give me a call if there's anything I can do to help you out on this one, anything else we have on the lot, 218-740-4964, we'll leave my email in there as well. Again, really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.